Dear Hermione, when you first floated down the hallways of the Hogwarts Express hair like you just licked the inside of a toaster, I knew you were the one for me. Robes on, spells memorised, paying no attention to the boys with the dirty noses, broken glasses or dead parents because you knew what was important. Yes, Hermione, you knew you were there on the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters because you were magic. First year, Hermione Granger and the deductive reasoning that saves Harry's ass. You were so small but full of sass, muggle-born and Gryffindor. You made your voice echo like a roar because bitches gotta know that it is Leviosa, not Leviosa. Second year, Hermione Granger and the art of taking one for the team. You had to deal with racist, stupid people, a big dirty basilisk. You still solved the problem while you were petrified. Third year, Hermione Granger and that brief time, you were a time lord. Determined to fit all your learning into a little hourglass with so much class you refused to grass up Professor Lupin just for being a werewolf fourth year. Hermione Granger and the epiphany that you can be both hot and smart. You made it clear that you are no one's afterthought, only idiots leave you to be last resort fifth year. Hermione Granger and the year you had to do literally everything because Harry Potter's a giant freaking emo. Dumbledore's army came to be because you gathered a small motley crew of others who knew the only way to do what was right was to be prepared to stand and fight sixth year, Hermione Granger and the danger of copying someone else's homework. To be fair, you told him, I mean you told him. Seventh year, Hermione Granger and the longest walk in the woods ever. Someone let Harry pick the route. Followed by a fight to the death, all in the name of what's good, you gave up everything for hope of a better world. You were always the best friend and never the girlfriend. Your first love was always books. You never let anyone tell you that who you are was wrong. And in a world full of JK Rowling's, we needed to hear that, dear Hermione. You made this little girl sitting alone with a book in her lap. No, you can sit alone with a book in your lap and still be the hero of your story, dear Hermione. You made this teenager understand that the only thing more important than your education is your bravery and your kindness, dear Hermione. You made this woman understand understand that no matter how many of them come for you, there will always be daughters of witches that they forgot to burn. Dear Hermione, it's been over 20 years and you still make me believe in magic. <laughs>